Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pots, Pans, and Priscilla. Today I'm going to be making fathead pizza. If you don't watch our other channel, just to let you know, we have started eating a keto diet. If you do watch our other channel, then you already know this and you guys have requested recipes. So I thought I would start with one that we really like. Um, the good thing about fathead pizza is you can have it for lunch or dinner. So today I'm making it for lunch. Um, I'm making kind of an adult, more adult friendly pizza and then the traditional pepperoni pizza for kids. It is also gluten free. So for our autism families that are on the special gluten free diet, this will help you as well. Right now I'm just getting all my ingredients prepped. I will be making an Alfredo sauce to go on top. So let's get cooking. I went ahead and cut up my vegetables that I'm gonna use and today I decided to use red bell pepper, yellow and orange, as well as some yellow onion. I'm also going to put cheap chicken on one of them. Obviously you wanna cook that chicken before you put it on your pizza. So I'm just got my pans warming over here. I preheated my oven to 425, that's for the pizza dough. With keto, you always want to use shredded, you wanna shred your own cheese. So that's what I'm doing right now. This mozzarella is for the actual pizza dough. For your pizza dough, you're gonna use three quarters of a cup of almond flour, one egg, two tablespoons of cream cheese, and one and a half cups of shredded mozzarella. For my sauce, I'm making an Alfredo sauce. For my pizzas today, I'm using an Alfredo sauce that I'm gonna cook. You can use red sauce or pizza sauce. Um, they do have more sugar in them, so True Keto would not do that. But we just like to have the homemade Alfredo sauce for our, our pizza. Like I said, one of the pizzas, it's just gonna have cheese and pepperoni. And then the other pizza, I'm gonna cook this chicken and add a lot of fancy cheeses. Um, we're gonna use goat cheese, mozzarella, some feta. It's really good. I do put spices in my crust, so what I use is a little bit of salt, some parsley, garlic powder, um, the Italian herbs from Abbey School that they grow, pepper, and a little bit of garlic is gonna go on the top of the pizza. So one of the best oils to use for keto is the avocado oil because it is high fat. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook my chicken in that. Once the chicken's all cooked, I will add the vegetables just to kind of saute them a little bit before putting them on the pizza. Makes it really yummy. Now, just so you guys know, I am not a keto expert. So if I say anything incorrect, I'm sorry. Um, this is what I've learned along the way. I've been doing it for about two and a half weeks and we are seeing results. So this is what works for our family. But just so you know, it's not strict keto, it is called lazy keto, what we're doing. So I just seasoned the chicken with exactly what I'm putting on the crust. But like I've always said, make sure you season that chicken before it starts cooking because you want those flavors to just mingle and, and make it all happy. You know what I mean? You want your chicken to be happy. I'm just gonna let this sit here on kind of low, like a two on mine, um, that's low. And then we will start making our dough and we also need to start making our Alfredo sauce, which is super easy and super quick. First to start your crust, you're just gonna add two tablespoons of cream cheese into a bowl. And these are awesome measuring spoons. My dad got these for me and we will link this down below. Uh, they're magnetic and they all stick together by magnets. I highly recommend them. These are not sponsored, but this is Pots, Pans, and Priscilla approved. I love them. So thank you, Dad. After you have your cream cheese in there, you're gonna take one and a half cups of mozzarella. It doesn't have to be exact. I mean, you just kinda look at it and tell. That looks like it would probably be enough. We're gonna put this in the microwave, starting at one minute. You'll take it out, stir it, put it back in for 30 seconds until it's not stringy. I'll show you the consistency you're looking for once we get there. So this is after one minute of being in there. Like I said, you wanna mix it together, but this is not the consistency we're looking for yet. Put it back in for 30 seconds and just keep doing that until you get the right texture. This is pretty good right here, so let's just add this to the end of their ingredients. I mix the almond flour with the egg and then add that to the cheese. And then you have this awesome dough, pizza dough. Look at that. 
Put it on parchment paper. Pro tip, so far what I've learned, buy stock in parchment paper and buy lots and lots of parchment paper. Keto requires parchment paper for a lot of things. Put it on your parchment paper. You, it's gonna be sticky, so you wanna wet your hands before you start working with it. You just start pushing it out. It's gonna be a thin crust. And you're just gonna work it around. You have to, you have to keep your hands wet. So go ahead and do that again if you feel like it's sticking to you, which it is. Maybe a little bowl of water would have been better since I have to walk around to, to the sink, but you know, do what you gotta do. This is lunch, we're trying to be easy, right? If you wanna make it into a fancy little pizza circle, that's fine. This I'm just gonna do as like a rectangle shape. And just keep pushing it out because we don't want it to be thick. Just so you know, this pizza is super rich. I can only eat one slice and I feel full. And that's the cool thing about keto that we've learned so far, is now that we're actually in ketosis, we don't feel hungry. So you have to remind yourself to eat. Because if you don't eat, you're not gonna lose weight either. Or be healthy, so. It's not all about losing weight, it is about being healthy. So I think that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasonings to it. Let me rinse my hands off real quick, add the seasonings, and then get our Alfredo sauce made. Throw a little garlic powder on here. This is really good on here. A little bit of salt, you don't need a ton. I, I'm not a big salt person. Some parsley, it's pretty and it tastes good. Make that pretty green flavor or look. And Italian herbs. I talked about these herbs in my last video, so if you have not checked that out, I'm gonna put a link right here or here. I'm not sure where it's gonna go, but it'll be on the screen. So go check that out. It is from my daughter's school and it's awesome. You're gonna love them. They are very fresh. I just pour a little in my hand and then just sprinkle it over the pizza crust. And it makes it, it just, I don't know. It adds flavor, obviously. <laughs> Our dough is complete. We are gonna throw this in the oven for about eight minutes until you see it bubbling and look brown. So the children had to come back home. You are gonna hear them and maybe see them. Abby, hey, how you doing? <laughs> yep, I'm cooking. I'm cooking all the things. They were at the pool but had to come home because it started thundering. So they're gonna, they're gonna hang out some more. Before you throw this in the oven, go ahead and take a fork and just make holes. So you don't get those bubbles. Okay, throw it in the oven on 425 for about eight minutes. So I'm sure we're gonna attract some new people here being that we are now eating keto. And I just wanted to let you know about my daughter, Abigail. She is 13 years old. She does have autism. She's nonverbal. We have another channel. It's called Fathering Autism. If you wanna check that out, you can learn all about our family. We are daily vloggers, so you will see her in and out. We try to keep her out of the kitchen while you're cooking because she grabs everything. She doesn't understand to not touch the hot pans but she is such a fun loving little girl, loves to eat. She approves of all mom's recipes pretty much and she has been rocking the keto diet. I am so proud of her. We still give her normal snacks that aren't keto friendly, but the keto meals she is just loving. Um, she was gluten casein free at one point and hated it. So for her to like this is huge. So if you are looking for a gluten free option, there you go. For my Alfredo sauce, I'm gonna start with a half of a block of cream cheese. I just kinda eyeball the heavy cream. You do wanna cook it on low so it doesn't scorch it. Then about a half a cup of mozzarella. Again, I add some parsley, some pepper, and the Italian herbs. You just want everything to have a little bit of seasoning so it all just meshes well together 
And then you don't have a bite that you don't get awesome seasonings and it tastes amazing. Take my spatula, break that cream cheese up. This is super easy and super fast to make. These vegetables look so good with this chicken. That's gonna be awesome on the pizza. Are you guys so excited? I'm so excited. Like when we started this keto diet, it was like, oh yeah, here we go, another diet. We've always dieted, we're on and off diets. This diet has been amazing. And I know some people will be like, it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. Call it whatever you want. Um, if you're eating better than great, that's, that's what matters. The words don't matter. We haven't had a Coke in 17 days. No sugar, like we feel good. Um, the scale, you know, is moving, which is awesome. But I can tell Asa and I both in our clothes. The kids are both losing weight, which is cool for them. Isaiah's doing awesome on it. You know, it's hard for a teenager to do this. And he's, he's doing good. So we went on our first vacation. You can do it on vacation. That's nice about it. It's just been a, a positive thing in our family. So if you're willing to try it, I highly recommend this diet, lifestyle change, all the things. I recommend it. Don't stop watching because we might add someone else. Now we have therapy and the kids here. Pretty soon we're gonna have someone else joining our family for today. The pizza dough is ready to come out. So here we go. This smells so good and it looks really good, but now we are going to add our Alfredo sauce on top. Like I said before, and if you don't know, keto is high fat, so it's, I know it sounds weird, but that's what it is. You can put as much or as little as you want. Just cover all of your dough. If you want to buy, I, I don't know about buying Alfredo, like it might have sugars. You always need to check on carbs and sugars on your labels when you're buying food. So it's best just to make it and it wasn't hard. After the Alfredo, go ahead and add a layer of cheese. Whatever kind of cheese you want. I'm just gonna use some mozzarella. And it doesn't have to be a thick layer, just enough to coat it. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so good. If you don't have time to do the chicken and stuff, then you know, just make the pepperoni. You don't have to saute the vegetables before you put it on the pizza, I just choose to do that. I think it tastes better. But if you don't have time, don't do it. Then you can take whatever cheeses you have. So I'm gonna add crumbled goat cheese first. Add that to the top of the pizza. Goat cheese is very rich. It's super creamy. You don't need a ton. Feta is a good cheese to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. You can never have too much cheese on keto. We're just gonna add some mozzarella pearls to the pizza. These are also really good if you want to just eat them as a snack. You can add olive oil and Italian herbs to them. There's so many options you have with mozzarella pearls. They're so good. So good, guys. Last but not least, just take a handful of mozzarella and just top it off. We just add some parsley just to add that green, it looks pretty. I don't know, it's very appealing to the eyes, don't you think? It's a nice contrast with the white pizza to add that greenery to it. That is it guys, we are gonna throw this back in the oven for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna be ready to eat. So the pepperoni pizza is gonna be exactly the same except you don't add all the veggies and the chicken. Obviously you just put the pepperoni and all your cheeses. If you don't like those cheeses, pick whatever your fan favorite is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a fun recipe to make. We're having a great time. This was a little more real life episode of Pots, Fans, and Priscilla. I hope you guys like that. If not, I'm sorry. Let me know in the comments below. Did you make this pizza? Are you gonna make it? Do you think this is something your family would like? Maybe you changed something on it. Let me know, I'd love to hear from you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching and till next time, like, share, and subscribe to Pots, Pans, and Priscilla.
so good. Abby, thumbs up. Like thumbs it. Up. Like yeah. It. yeah. <laughs> right. So just come along and follow the journey. Can you ever say follow my pizza journey again? I'm finding a new chef. For that that was terrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it wasn't natural at all either. It like did not come out well. Scale of one to ten. Ten. It's an absolute ten. This is how we should close it out. <laughs>